Maslow wrote a book in 1943 called A Theory of Human Motivation. In that book, he established that there exist five elements of human needs that need to be fulfilled for humans to reach a level of thriving and motivation. This theory is relevant to us today because we need to understand how the monetary system that we live in actually hinders the ability for some humans to thrive. Humans have basic physiological needs, safety needs, social, love, and a sense of belonging needs, esteem needs, self-fulfillment needs. The idea is that with all needs met, you have a happy, healthy, thriving being, or as I would say, a being of true love. In current society, the design allows for some humans to have more of their needs met than others. In current society, some have more access to resources than others, and so likewise, those persons who have trouble getting their basic physiological needs, safety needs, social love and the sense of belonging needs, esteem needs, and self-fulfillment needs met are not beget the unalienable right to thrive and feel whole, happy, and content. When humans are not getting their needs met, they are forced into an id state of being, whereby id is the animal self, the primitive side of being that can lack judgment, and forfeits morals in exchange for survival. Take, for example, someone who is not able to get food, water, warmth, or rest. If you put this person in front of food and they have not eaten in days, and you tell them, well, this meal costs $20 or $5, what have you, they are more likely to steal it or do something drastic to satiate that hunger feeling. These needs, when not being met, can really disrupt human function and the choices that humans make. This is where you see or have humans acting in their id self, in relationships where one may do sexual favors to get their needs met. One may set aside morals to get their needs met. One may do any number of things and act out of their normal behavior because the needs listed here are core to the human being. Not having one needs met can lead to mental illness and psychological disruption, as you can easily imagine. If someone is not having their esteem needs met, they may become dysfunctional in the way they interact with others. They may lie or compete with others unnaturally. The most important thing to note also is that if all needs are not being met, then it is as if the human is not able to thrive and be in a position to reach their full potential. Imagine someone with high esteem needs. Maybe they are well accomplished also, but they just cannot manage to find a decent home to rent or buy, so they are actually homeless then there will continue to be a part of this person that functions from the itself. See, the idea is for humans to hardly ever have to tap into the itself. Humans should be functioning from the highest self. It would seem that a resource-based economy is a solution because a resource-based economy would allow for humans to have all of their physiological and safety needs met. Imagine if you did not have to worry about food, shelter, job security, or water. When you imagine that, then you are thinking of what it would be like to live in a resource-based economy.